hello friends welcome back to my channel in this tutorial class we will discuss how to solve a numerical on vertical venturi meter so in the previous video lectures we solved some or two or three numericals with horizontal venturi meter so this problem is on vertical venturi meter so all of you read the statement of the problem a vertical venturi meter has an area ratio is 2 so first i will write the solution step number 1 given data so first he has given the area ratio ratio of area of inlet to the area throat so area at inlet is a1 throat area is a2 it is given as 2 and dear students you keep in mind always area at the inlet is greater than area at the throat 2 okay it has a throat diameter of 10 centimeter so d2 d2 is a diameter of the throat 10 centimeter that I will convert into meter that is 0 0.1 when oil of specific gravity 0 0.8 so yes is equal to 0 0.8 yes represent the specific gravity the line the mercury in the differential manometer so there is a manometer is connected between inlet and the throat so for time being I will draw one simple venture meter here this is a diverging end this is a throat and this is converging end okay always the length of the diverging end should be more compared to converging end so this part is a throat this is section one inlet i will take section two as throat this is inlet so between these two they have connected one manometers they have connected a manometers between the inlet and outlet so here is a reference line axis in the manometer the differential manometer indicates a difference in height of 30 centimeter of mercury so in the manometer the difference between the mercury level is 30 centimeter and uh, the difference will be represented with the symbol x x is difference of mercury level in the manometer that is 30 centimeter of mercury i will convert into meter it is 0 0.3 meter of mercury this meter of mercury will convert into meter of water column by using one more formula that we will discuss in the next step okay the point 8 specific gravity is flowing and he has not given the direction always it is from inlet to the outlet upward direction okay how much is the specific gravity 0 0.8 the difference of levels between the throat and inlet section is 50 centimeter dear students as it is mentioned it is vertical venturi meter so the distance between the throat the point number two and the point number three sorry point number one these distance this distance between the throat and inlet is 50 centimeter 50 centimeter assume this inlet is on the reference line so z1 is equal to 0 so from here to here what is the distance here again 50 centimeter so z2 z2 that is potential energy at 50 centimeter so z2 minus z1 i will take it as 50 centimeter or it is 0 0.5 meter you can ask a question sir what is the necessity of uh, uh, taking z2 minus z1 that we'll discuss in the next step step number two okay here x is also given the difference between inlet and throat is also given next line find the discharge through venturi meter so he has asked q q is equal to how much and clearly he has given neglect losses the so i will not consider cd when there is no losses then coefficient of venturi meter or discharge is not considered so it is theoretical discharge step number two write the formula first step number two uh, we'll write in the formula here what is the formula for theoretical discharge that is q t h is equal to a1 a2 square root of 2 g h divided by square root of a1 square minus a2 square this is the formula for calculating theoretical discharge through the venture meter we check whether a1 is given or not a2 and h g everywhere a1 is not given directly we have to calculate the a1 so a1 is equal to pi by 4 d1 square 
d1 is also not given but we need a ratio a1 by a2 is 2 so we'll calculate a2 because diameter at the throat d2 is given so pi by 4 d2 is 0 0.1 substitute and calculate the area so after calculating i will get it is 0 0.0078 meter square this is the value of a2 that is area at the throat and when we given the ratio a1 by a2 is equal to 2 so take a1 by a2 is equal to 2 so a1 is equal to 2 times of a2 so a1 will be 2 into 0 0.0078 so approximately i will get a1 value is 0 0.0314 meters square this is the area of the inlet of the venture meter so we have calculated a1 a2 also you have calculated g is 9.81 but we don't know h value there are two formulas uh, as we discussed in the previous video lectures so h is equal to p1 by rho z plus z1 minus p2 by rho z plus z2 this is the one formula is equal to x into this another formula for calculating h okay you can use this equation or you can use s x into x means difference in mercury level in the manometer and the specific gravity of heavy liquid divided by specific gravity of the oil or the pipe oil minus one okay now to apply this condition we need to check whether the manometric density is more or the fluid which is flowing to the venture meter density is more so here it clearly has indicated that the mercury is used in the manometer so density of the mercury is 13600 but the fluid the fluid which is flowing inside the venture meter is 0 0.8 specific gravity and here the specific gravity is 0 0.8 so using the specific gravity we can calculate density so specific gravity is equal to ratio of density of the fluid divided by density of the standard fluid that is water here this we don't know he has given the specific gravity so specific gravity multiplied by density of water 1000 so 0 0.8 it is given here 0 0.8 into 1000 that will be the density of the fluid which is flowing in the pipe is 800 kg per meter cube so this formula is satisfied what we have the formula we have taken here that formula is satisfied so this is the formula we use when the density or specific gravity of heavy liquid that is manometer liquid is more than density of the pipe fluid and dear students here both z1 and z2 is also given for time being i will simplify this equation here is a one term pressure term i have taken one side and this term i have taken another side this is a minus common so if you take minus common this will be the same so z2 minus z1 is 30 centimeter 50 centimeter he has given the step number one the step number one z2 minus z1 is 50 centimeter that is 0.5 so we cannot use this equation for calculating the value of z that is required in uh, equation number one because he has not given pressure difference we don't know the pressure head at inlet as well as at outlet we know z2 minus z1 understood so we cannot use this equation we have to go for calculating h using the second equation what you have written on the screen so h is equal to x into specific gravity of heavy liquid that is manometer liquid divided by specific gravity of the fluid is flowing in the pipe minus one here x is given and all other terms also given so h is equal to what is the value of x x is difference in mercury level in the manometer that is 0 0.3 so 0 0.3 i will substitute and uh, the specific gravity of heavy liquid in the manometer is mercury so the, the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 specific gravity of the oil flowing in the pipe is 0 0.8 it is given so substitute all the values and i will calculate h h you will get it as on 4.8 meter of oil 
it is liter of oil because we have converted into the mercury level of into meter of oil because we have multiplied with 13.6 initially x value is in terms of mercury so after multiplying with this term it will become meter of oil so now all the equations you have calculated are in the question number one now we can a1 is also calculated a2 g is also calculated h is also calculated okay now substitute all the parameters of equation number one and you can calculate the theoretical discharge then i will write the formula here from equation number one q theoretical because neglect the losses a1 a1 is given as already you calculated it is there on the first phase 0.0314 a2 is 0.0078 square root of 2 g value is 9.81 h is 4.8 meter of oil whole divided by whole divided by square root of a1 square a1 is 0 0.0314 it is square minus a2 0 0.0078 square so substitute in the calculator so by doing some mathematical equations mathematical operations i will get the value of q2 h is 0 0.078 meter cube per second so this is the value of uh, theoretical discharge so if you are convert into liters liters that is thousand liters is equal to one meter cube so this much of a meter cube is equal to how much so then i will get in terms of liter that is 78 you take 78.2 liters per second this is the final answer for theoretical discharge of the given venture meter okay so in the next video lecture we'll solve one more numerical on vertical venture meter Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.